In my previous video, which you can check on my channel, I explained step by step how to fill preliminary application form. Now let's go to the second step. Once your preliminary application form is confirmed, we are eligible to fill the full application form for work visa to Poland. Let's get started. The data included in the preliminary visa application has been positively verified. Once we click in the link, we should start fill register form. Some data will be already filled in your application for national visa. We need to add surname at birth, date of birth, point number five, place of birth. You should mention according to your passport. Then we're choosing the current nationality. From the day when you will start filling preliminary application form till receiving the actual link for filling your application, it may take even two, three days. So be patient. Original nationality, sex, marital status. Then we're going to the passport data. Some details are already filled, but we need to mention date of issue of your passport till when your passport is valid. Also, who issued your passport. Section number 10 do not apply to our case. Contact details. Applicant's home address. It must be address in the Saudi Arabia, since we are mentioning that the applicant is living and want to apply in Saudi Arabia. Mention all the details regarding your address in a country where you're gonna submit your visa application. Details regarding the contact are already filled. Now we're going to other data. Since our applicant has residence in a country other than the country of current nationality, which is Bangladesh, and our applicant living in Saudi Arabia, we should provide his residency details, number of residency card and expiry date. Now let's choose current occupation and mention your employer details in Saudi Arabia. It is good to mention as well phone number and email address in case that the consulate would like to check the current employment in Saudi Arabia. Main purpose of your journey will be other, which is work, travel data. Then we should calculate for how many days you're requesting your work visa. Calculate it according to the date when you declared that you want to enter Poland and the date when you want to leave territory of Poland. Now let's go to section 31 and 32. In our case, it will be section 32. Here we should take all the details from your work permit and additional supporting documents such as accommodation declaration, contract of employment and letter to consul. All these details regarding your company should be mentioned on those documents. Country, place, postal code, address, house number. Surname and name of a person which is representing the company. It is good to mention the name and surname of the person which is signing all the documents. If you cannot read clearly who signed the documents of your work permit and supporting documents, you can always ask your employer who will be responsible for the contact with consulate, first name, surname, place, postal code and address. Phone number is also mentioned on the document of your work permit, so you can mention phone and email address, which is mentioned on your work permit front page. In section 33, we should mention who will cover cost of traveling. By a sponsored, which is referred in the field 32, 
we can mention that first of all you will receive accommodation and other such as transportation from the airport. In another section 34 we have data of the document authorizing you to work. So we reached the end of our application. We need to mark all the necessary clauses so our application can be confirmed. Now we can scroll up and check if all the details from your work permit regarding your current employer, your passport details and all the other mentioned in the form are correct. Once we check that all the details are correct, we can confirm our application. Next and save. Confirmation of appointment. We need to click print, then our application form will be generated. Please remember to save this application on your desktop because you will be not able to print it from your email. Your application is registered. Every week you will receive update regarding the draw. Let's take a look after more than a month of registering this application what is the result. Unfortunately my applicant is still not lucky and he is receiving every week information on not drawing of his application and being eligible to submit visa application form in Riyadh. Best of luck for your draw!